You're right. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Buccaneer Arena's annual Turkey Cup. Ooh. The matchup between the Des Moines Capitals and your Des Moines Oak Leafs. I'm Brian Michael. With me, as always, is the voice of the Oak Leafs, Andy Wade. And ladies and gentlemen, do not adjust your dial. Don't touch it. But somehow it's a time warp. It, it Andy is a and Brian are back. It is a time warp. They asked us if we would be willing to come back and talk. Guess what? I ain't more than willing to come and talk for this game. Oh, yeah. It's the Turkey Cup. I mean, it's packed. It's wild. You got blackout versus whiteout. You've got purple versus green. I mean, it's it's got all of it. And you got Merck on camera. Hey, you right? know what? You stole my thunder a little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry. You stole my thunder a little bit. But the best thing that ever came out of Anita, Iowa, Jason Merck on the camera. We couldn't be more thrilled. So th you got your team tonight. That's so. right. So, Andy, I ask you all the time, what is the key to the game tonight for the Des Moines Oak Leafs? What do you think it is? Well, I, I, I think tonight it, it's really, you know, c continuing our offense, right, and, and, and scoring goals. When I mean, you got the top two uh, point getters in the league on, on, on your team, uh, and, and that's what your driving force is. But I really think it's going to be the back end and, and how much can Jackson Career add to that offense. He's up yeah. in the top ten. There and then and then your goaltending just you know just keep me in the game right don't don't give me anything else sloppy that that you, you know you hang your head in or the other guys hang their head down on something like that um, you know do the thing that got you where you're at um, you're, you're number one in the league right now uh, for a reason and, and don't stray away so uh, you mentioned kind of the scoring uh, we talked a little before the game you know Carson's not slowing down at all um, no. you know. period and we'll be right back to normal yeah exactly right give us a period and, and we've got some trivia <laughs> the best thing about the first period is going to be the camera work absolutely uh, <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> quiet down here and let you do the intros and the national anthem Well, we were talking about this before the game, you know, just 
the amount of people, you know, 20 years ago when I was here as a capital coach and recognizing people and just the reunion feel that this, this game has, no matter what side you're on, uh, it's strictly amazing. Yeah, and the fans are – the. Stands are packed as usual, and we had uh, Mr. Zimmerman <laughs> get the crowd riled up, just like the old days, and that's Cooker. It goes over to Bird. He'll take it deep, bouncing puck. Fleming grabs it, and he'll leave that for Ledensky up the corner to Ferrari, and he'll kind of reverse it around and throw it back to Ledensky, and he'll settle it down and try to make a pass up the middle, but that's picked off by Clem. He'll throw it deep, rims around, Cooker's there, chips, and gets by him, and Bird's there to keep the rush from going the other way. Now Creer takes the body, and puck goes deep, and comes to the corner, and back around, Bird will get it up. Just out of the reach of Cook, now in on goal, bouncing puck, and now Creer will settle that down, makes a move, chips it up the board, and it is out. And it gets thrown back in by Jones. Bird there, Creer gets past him. We're getting tired here, we probably need to change. Bouncing puck comes up the middle, that's, that's Clem. Clem's got the puck, he waits, tries to get it to the middle and I think he just missed Laura Becky and I'll come back the other way and that's Mr. Friedrich, Teddy. He makes a play there on Bartholomew and Mertz picks up, picks up the puck and throws it down, bouncing puck in the middle, and Teddy there to make a good play and get it out. And up the boards. And good play there by Elliott to get it in deep. Now Shizzle at the puck. Comes around to Anderson and he throws it deep. Bouncing puck. Here come the Capitals the other way, but Mertz is gonna track that down. Caps go for a change. He'll reverse it over to Teddy. Shizzle off his stick in the zone and picked off in the middle. Shot whiffed on and Mertz will throw it out of the zone. And Anderson over skates, now it comes back the other way. That's Barron's, Barron's throws it behind the net, bouncing puck, Shiz picks it up and tries to reverse it, big hit and still can't get it out. And that Shizzle makes a move and tips it up to Anderson and he tries to get it up to Elliott. He's got it at the red line, throws it deep. We go for a change and that's Clem on the four check and up the board. Big hit by Lord Becky. And Bird over to Creer. Chipped up into the boards by Cook. And Clem will win that battle. He'll get it try to get it to the middle of the Cook, but Cook takes it over in the far side. Gets it out to Creer. Creer ooh, trying to find Clem. It got deflected a few times. That's Clem behind the net. And he'll throw it through the middle, just miss Lord Becky. And Bird tries to step up, and then we got to race the other way, but Creer's there. And he'll corral the puck up through the middle. Long stretch pass to Clem, but he makes a pass. Ferrari backhands that over to Brooks, and he tries to get it through the middle and does. And Van Arum will try to get it deep and can't. Now back the other way. And Bird will take it. No backhand went over to Creer. Creer takes his time off Cooker skate in the zone, and they're not going to call icing on that. Shiz on the four check. And losing control, that's Elliott. Elliott kind of reverses it back out to Teddy. Teddy finds Elliott in the middle off his skate, and he'll just try to throw it deep. And that's Ferrari. Now it's Brooks to back to Ferrari, now up. Up the boards and kept in by Holschlag. Good good play by him to keep that in. Shiz tries to track it down and comes up off a stick and deep. And Teddy will have to track that down, but it's icing. Well, I think right now, you know, both teams are testing each other out, but you know we're controlling the puck. And I think the big thing for the Oak Leafs, can, can you just move it back, reset, regroup, and re-enter, get, get the Capitals to start to run, uh, if you get them to run and get them out of place, that's where you're going to create your, your shooting opportunities. Well, the face-off. Like we got, I think we got Cooker there versus Max Myers. That comes out over to Clem. He'll reverse it down deep and up the near boards. Turned over. Cook's got it on the boards. Drop past the 
Lurbecki, and he just misses wide on a sharp angle shot. Now we got a three on two coming the other way. That's Myers, tries to find Beeline, comes through the middle, and Lurbecki will skate that out. Backhands one over to Cooker. He touches it, race for the puck, and Saley's there, and rims it around the boards, and up through the middle off a stick. That should be icing, and it is. Yeah, a little choppy here, Andy. A little choppy, but you know, it's still you're, you're, you're testing each other out. Uh, but if I was the Capitals, you know, I, I would try to play the body as much as possible, try to get the guys off, try to get them frustrated, maybe even try to draw some penalties out of them. Uh, you know, and, and I don't know if they can match up to that, but uh, if they have some body size and just be able to get in the drills, that'd be my game plan coming out. Now Reams gets it up, and they are going to not call icing on that, but Creer's got it. He's got a head of steam, and he flips it up the board. Glove down by Ferrari, and he'll go for a skate here, and he'll come up to Loxton, bouncing puck in the net, or excuse me, in the bench, and we'll get another whistle. So do we have shots here or uh, any uh, shots? It's uh, two shots to two. Two to two. And we'll have a face-off just outside the Oak Leafs O-Zone, and Elliott will give chase. And that puck gets rimmed around through the middle to Shiz. Shiz takes a shot right into Fleming's gut. But good play there and good pass. Shiz doesn't miss a lot of those. No, and, and you know, kind of point blank. and you know, Those are the shots you're going to want to you know, put on Fleming to see what type of game he's going to have on him. Uh, last game I came out and saw uh, against Waterloo, you know, Fleming wasn't sharp, so I, I'm going to guess he wants a rebound game in this one. Capitals tried to skate it in and tipped over there by Holschlag. And Teddy tries to find Anderson, and but he ends up picking it up. He's got Elliott, and he'll throw it deep, and we'll give chase. That's Elliott, or excuse me, that's Anderson. Elliott turns, kicked away there by... Fleming now up the boards and Teddy will step up but tipped by him and up the boards over to Shizzle. Shizzle taps it through the middle but intercepted. They try to get it deep but Elliott picks it off and that's Flaherty there causing some trouble in front of the net but that gets by everyone but it's on net and Lord Becky will track that down. He's got Cooker but leaves it up along the boards and bouncing puck to Creer. And he'll just reverse it over to Teddy. And Friedrich gets it up, chipped in by Lorbecki. And Puck comes down low to Cook, but tapped away from him. And that's Gladson. He'll try to keep it deep and does. Now he'll return to his blue line. Up the boards, off career skates. Got a race for the puck. That's Barons and Creer. Creer wins that battle for now. Now up the boards to Clem. He tips it over and now up to Lorbecki. Lorbecki's got some steam. And he'll try to shovel it deep. Comes out to Cooker. Cooker in front. Oh, loose puck. He could have had Clem on the yeah. far post. And that's Ferrari. He gets hooked. No call. Now he'll go to battle of Creer down below the net. And now tipped out along the boards. And tipped away from Loxton, now up to Anderson. And Jones will track that down. And he gets it up to Loxton. Loxton turns, Elliott's on him. Puck is loose. Loxton wins that battle and it gets thrown deep. Safner tries to pick that off below the net, but, but missed, it was moving. And now that's Teddy. And the puck bounces up in front of the net. Man, Andy, that's one of those where yeah. you could easily get a cheap one. Now up to Anderson. And he'll toe drag. Puck is loose. And Elliott just overskated. Now to Shiz. He takes another shot. Great save by Flair, or excuse me, uh, Fleming. Now kept in by Teddy. He'll throw it deep. And that's Anderson. Tries to get it in front. Bouncing puck over Elliott's stick. And we're going to head the other way. We're getting some good chances right now. And I think the early returns on Fleming as he's in this game. Big shot from the point. But misses everything. Lord Becky's got a one on one with Logston. Excuse me, that's uh, 
That's Geringer, but big save there, and we'll go back the other way. Bouncing puck. And they'll try to pass one up, and Clem's there. No call, and thrown deep by Bird. Rims around, Fleming will leave it below the net. And Cooker there, and now up to Bird at the point. And he kind of whipped, well, he got a stick lifted there, good play by Campbell. Now puck comes out, chased, chased down by Bird. He'll get it up the board, bouncing puck to Cook, and he'll flip it up. Now there's a race for the puck, that's Clem. Clem takes a shot, great save by Fleming. <laughs> wow, that was a great blocker save, and you don't do that a lot on Clemson. Nope. He just got a piece of that. Now he'll ice the puck, and and one we'll get a whistle. The, one of the things about this arena that people don't recognize is just the dimensions of it. It's so much thinner than a lot of the other arenas. I mean, when you even look at the hash marks on the circles. I mean, the hash marks go all the way to the boards, and so the width isn't very long, but behind isn't very long. So when you get those shots that go over the net, I mean, they come back out in front, and you always have to be prepared for that. And that's almost how the goalie or uh, Kaplan's got a goal uh, earlier. Not chisel in the corner. Eh? And shot there from the point by Gladson. In front of the net, it's still loose. Comes out to Teddy. Teddy takes a bouncing shot just wide. Good pressure here by the Oak Leafs. That's Ferrari, and he'll skate it and get it up to middle. That's Loxton with the puck. He'll try to float one over to the corner, and it bounces. And tapped over to Shizzle. Shizzle skating. He'll take the blue. And that's got to be interference, but... No call. We'll come back the other way. And Ferrari will try to make a move, gets taken down. On a big hit by Anderson. And we try to clear, it does come out. And picked up there by Sacre. Now drop pass. Now that's Clem. He was gonna win that battle. Oh, there and it is. You know that was gonna happen. Well, you just kinda wait for the turnover. There's a mistake by the Capitals. Oakley's picked that up. Cooker gets it right there in, in between the hash marks and be able to uh, get it right back you know, past Fleming there. So the Oakley's top line comes through with Cooker with the first goal of the 21st annual Turkey Cup. And the Oakley's take a one nothing lead. We've been, we were down there, we were sniffing Andy. Yep, and kind of looking at the replay right here, kind of drop pass, oh, they're on, you know, you know, a little bit of communication error there. Um, but in this type of game, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for your opponent to make a mistake and then you pounce on that mistake. Yeah, stay patient. Let the game come to you and that's exactly what happened. Another shot in on net by Creer and that's Laura Becky. He'll get it out to Bird. Bird takes a shot and picked off. Coming the other way, that's Van Arum. He'll take a shot, just wide, good shot but missed the net, and here comes the Capitals the other way. Now up the middle through Clem Skates, and that's picked off and thrown deep. We were offside, so we'll go for a change, and Cooker will be on the four check. Picks off the puck. That's Bartholomew behind the net, I believe. These numbers are hard to read, <laughs> Still battling below the net. That's Cook and Chisel, and we'll get a whistle and a face off. Yeah, Andy, I saw that. I saw that drop pass, and when you have Clemenson on you, he's going to get the puck. Right. Like, there's. I haven't seen him win or lose too many puck battles. No, and, and you know, it, it might have been the right play, but they, it was a miscommunication. Yeah. And, and it was all about you know. Just stepping in the right way, and the Capitals just didn't execute what they needed to do, and we took advantage of it. And that, you know, that's that's what you have to do. That's Anderson below the net. He's battling, and picked off there by Shiz, but it comes back the other way. That's Jones. He'll take a shot, and saved there by Safner, and up the boards is Shiz. He'll tap it. Over and Anderson was just offside, so he had to. Elliot kind of had to wait up there, and we'll go off the boards again. 
Here comes Elliott. Taps it over to Anderson. And in on that, bounces wide and up into the uh, netting. So we'll have another whistle. And the face off. And guess who's coming back on the ice? Well, why wouldn't you? I mean, I, right now, I kind of just seeing the rotation. It's It's been one, two, one, three, one, two, one, three. I mean, it's every other shift with uh, Cooker, Clemson, and Laura Becky. So. so Cooker will take the face off. And comes back, tapped up by Lord Becky, but bouncing puck to Creer, keeps it in off his skate. Now Lord Becky's got it now back to Creer, bouncing puck. He wins that back. He's got it, takes a shot. Good save by Fleming. I tell you what, Fleming's on his game. And now, good hit there. Now through the middle, another good hit. And we'll come back the other way. And that's Clem. Clem skates to the middle and just loses control of the puck, tries to center it. And that's where Becky taking it behind the net. Out to Career. Career takes a shot. Deflecting in. It's deflected. And I don't know who's going to end up with that, but well, it was definitely deflected. Yeah, it was deflected. And a nice low shot by Career. We'll look at that replay here in a little bit. But it was either Cooker or Clemens because if both of them were down there with six low. So kinda, now it kind of looks like it might have been Clem. Yeah, so not a bad start here for your Oak Leafs couple goals in quick succession yeah. and that's a recipe for well we'll see I guess so look at that kind of replay kind of come down so that's Laura Becky and he'll get it out to Career. Career takes the shot and just pinball. It, it was either Cooker yeah. or Career might have gotten it maybe it yeah. went up and over but almost like a Cooker tipped that but you might credit it as a career. So passed up, bounced over to Bird at the blue line. He'll throw it deep, gets by Cook. And there's Mr. Lorbecki. Centers oh, one off word. of Fleming's stick and in. Yeah, Clemenson just kind of threw it in front. I think Fleming was just trying to play it off his paddle and went right in the net there. Here, here's the struggle bus now. It, oh, that was Clem. It, okay, I thought yeah, that was Lorbecki. No, it was Clem right there on the half board. Just kind of threw it in front, looking for somebody. And, and I think Clem was just trying to play it and knocked it in himself off his paddle. Um, <clears throat> you can look at the replay here. And, you know, just kind of Clemson gets it over there on the half board, just kind of throws it in front. Yeah, I mean, he, and Fleming just kind of goes out and plays it and goes off his paddle. So. Ooh, dangerous in front by the Capitals. Mounting puck down low. He still got it. Tries to throw it up the middle. And shot in there by Van Arum. Now reverse to the other side. And still going back and forth. Now Mertz is on it. He's got the puck. He chips it up the boards. And it's out. But in. And Mertz will grab it over or pass it over to Teddy. Now back through the middle. And now Mertz will try to get it out and picked off at the red line and skated back in. We need to kind of get it together here. Now tap to the middle. And that's thrown deep by Gladson. And he'll make a big hit and tap to the middle. Still bouncing now down low. And battle down below the net. And we got a penalty here on the Oak Leafs. So it's like uh, number 23. Max Gladson. So two minute penalty on Gladson and we'll That'll bring up the Baresh Home Solutions penalty kill. And I just want to say, in between periods, don't go away because we're doing the alumni interviews and we should have a packed house if everyone shows up and is uh, punctual. So, <laughs> no. in fact, I'm going to remind some people at this yeah. very moment that you they need to get You might want to start here. calling them up now. So three nothing, good guys. 
318 left. We got a two minute penalty to kill. Well, this is, you know, if, if I was a cat coach, this is a perfect opportunity yeah. to be able to get back in this yeah. game. I mean, you're down three nothing. Yeah. Regard, the Oakley's already reached my, you know, first of three. So, yep. the Capitals have an up, up, uphill battle to go. So, well, I mean, three ones are, you know, always better than three zero. But going into the first intermission, you know, down three one would be, especially the way this has gone. Now we got Lorbecki. He's got a shorthanded try, but he whiffs on the puck. And he'll just go for a skate. No one's really in any hurry to get him over to career, and that's tapped up to Clem, but. We'll have to retreat. And that's your favorite Waterbury hockey player, Charlie or Becky. He picks the puck off. He's got Clem in the middle, just tipped out by Fleming. And Ferrari will take that puck, make a good move, and skate behind the net. He's got a head of steam and gets by Clem. And the puck is picked off by Cooker. Now through the middle, Creer will tap one up and throw it deep. And the Oakleys go for a change. At least Elliott's coming on the ice. And the Capitals seem content here to kind of set things up. Now pass, long pass in the middle. We got a two on one. And oh, shot and score. Oh, okay. that, that's huge for the Capitals right there. And that's just, Reams. I don't, I don't know what happened there, but we had a two on one on a long stretch pass. And uh, we just lost a couple guys in the back. Well, I think we kind of got lethargic. We'll see the replay here in a second. You know, they, they kind of picked it up. You know, we got a guy down low, kind of a quick pass on the outlet, on an outlet. You know, coming up, and yeah, we just didn't cover the middle. We got we got too far out to the left. Uh, you know, we're we're not covering the middle, and that's where that long stretch pass happened. Well, it's exactly what we didn't want. Exactly what was good for the Capitals, and based on how things are going, if they can hold on here. I'm sure they'd be happy with a 3-1 deficit going into the first intermission. And that puck gets up. And in the netting, we'll have a face-off in our zone. Well, you, you, you knew they were going to come back. You knew yeah. they were, they were going to well, put up a fight. They're, they're, they're going to put up a fight. You know, it's just... Now you, now you just get... You, you got to extend that lead to continue to have it a three goal lead. And, you know, the next one, you know, it gets, it gets you on your heels. And now we got a two on one and tipped wide. And that was me line. Just lost his edge and bounced over the corner and now shot in on that deflected wide. They're putting some pressure on us here. And we need to get the puck out. And that's Shiz. And he kind of overskates it and we'll do a backhand. And now picked off at the blue line, shot in off of Teddy. And Shiz will try to skate that out. And he does just flip it out. And that's Elliott, he'll go for a change. And here comes the Capitals the other way. Laura Becky waiting at the blue line, now shot. Good save there by Safner. And that comes, comes out of the zone. And Ferrari will make that pass. Up the middle, chipped in and wide. And Bird will grab that puck and reverse that over to Creer. Creer up the middle and misses everyone. Yeah. We should have icing, and we do. And there's 48 seconds left in the first period. Oak Leafs leading 3-1. And we'll have a face-off down at our end. Faceoff comes tipped up there by Clem. Clem's got some room. He'll come in, takes a shot, and Fleming makes the save. Tried to go five hole, but Fleming shut that down. He wasn't quite sure he had it, but he did. Right. And we'll get a faceoff at this end with 40.7 seconds left. And we've got Cook, Lurbecki, Clemenson, Creer, and Bird. And Creer tries, tries to touch pass in the middle. Now back the other way. That's Henry Ferrari. And he takes a shot just high. Good battle down low with Creer. And he'll get that up to Lurbecki. He chips it, but 
right back in by Brooks and back the other way and no icing on that play. Now back up the middle and here comes Cook and big hit and we'll come back the other way. That's Ferrari and Logson kind of fans on the shot and I think that is the end of the period. We didn't we didn't have a horn, but well, Andy, not bad for an opening period, three-one. Not bad. You know, we took advantage of. I, I really think it was three mistakes by the Capitals on our three goals, and and then uh, you know we had a one mistake, and and they took advantage of you know just kind of positioning wise, you know, on our pe on our penalty kill. Uh, you know, it makes it a 3-1, but I think the big thing for the Capitals was getting that one goal going in the period because now you get it back to a two-goal game. you got two periods left. You know, the big message is w win the period. And if you can win each period, you know, you got at least back 3-3 three to three and you're going to overtime. So, you know, that's that's the Capitals side. For the Oakley side, hey, we, we got to readjust. we got to make sure we're playing sound uh, position-wise. We're communicating uh, and, and control the puck and possess it. So there we are. All right, well, we're going to start our Oak Leaf alumni interviews off. And I think first up is Mr. Dylan Hinder. Mr. Dylan Hinder, how are you? Good, good. Good. Well, thanks for joining us. You back? Yeah, yeah, we're back for the week. How long? Just for a week? Yeah, we go back on Sunday. All right, so... Uh, everyone, uh, Dylan Hinder, if you don't know Dylan, number 27, captain of this Oak Leafs team a couple years ago. Yep. Uh, Two-time All-League. Uh, no, I was not All-League. Yeah, you were. All right. I, I don't – I think I, I, I was – I had you down. I had you down. You were All-League. You okay. were All-League. Yes, you were. Okay. I looked it up. So, Dylan, tell us what you're doing now, man. Uh, just playing junior hockey uh, up in Coon Rapids, Minnesota playing for the Minnesota Blue Ox. Um, so just trying to go play some college hockey, and that's just the step that I'm taking after high school. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. So uh, explain a little bit about that league and how many games you play and, you know, kind of what's your commitment sure. as a player. Sure. So we play 42 games and uh, two showcases out of division uh, games. And uh, we just got back from Detroit playing four games of out, of out of division games. And then we play the rest of them in division. Then we'll play playoffs in March. And then win playoffs. Then you go off to nationals and then, then do that. And then during the summer, you figure out where you're going to go play for college. So so uh, what's your guys' record this year? I believe we're 12-7-1. and one. We had a, a, rough, a rough showcase this weekend, but... We went one and three, so. Uh, so I was lucky enough to get up there and watch you guys play, yeah. and uh, we got a few guys up there. We have um, Gabe Myers is yep. playing on that team. He was a Capitals player here. We have uh, Jack Wallace, who didn't play for either team, but he yep. grew up here. Yep. Um, who else we got up there? Uh, no other ones from Des Moines, but Carl Graffelman, he played Graffelman, for Omaha. Yep. Uh, Brendan Shainer played for Waterloo. Chase Mann. Yep, Chase Mann. Jaden White. Harrison Foss. Yep, Harrison played um, for Waterloo. Yeah, I think those are all the ones that. A lot of Midwest High School League yeah. guys there. Yeah. Great. All right, so it's question time. All right, let's do it. All right. So, um, what was your favorite Oak Leaf moment? Now, it, you know, not, not on the ice, you know, just kind of what, what was your favorite Oak Leaf moment? Um, not on the ice. I would say just me and Quinn Glock after practice every day playing <laughs> playing ping pong until eight o'clock at night until we leave the leave the locker room and just those are the times that you don't forget. So Yeah. Is Quinn here tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you need to get him up here. All right, all right. All right. What is your favorite turkey cup memory? Um, I got one for you, but yeah. I was gonna tell you. Uh, I wanna hear your I think uh my senior turkey cup was a good one. I didn't play, for, unfortunately, but it was great to just sit back and, like, still feel all the emotions and then be able to lift the cup at the end of the night. It was great. So, Well, I'm glad you picked that one because that was the one I remember, too. And I remember 
uh, we were pretty sure you weren't going to play, and I saw you yeah. skate out, and I'm like, holy cow. Yeah. Is Dylan going to play? Yeah, it was and, nice uh, to get the warm up. So, yeah, that was cool. So Yeah. Um, all right. What was your what was your best play, like your sickest play that you remember um, um, as an Oak Leaf? I mean, I had a couple, but I think my most memorable one was last time that we played here, a uh, shootout winner against oh, the yeah. Capitals. Last time ever playing at Bucks, And uh, – Pretty high-scoring game. Then to seal the deal, it was pretty nice. Yeah, that was pretty legit. Yeah. All right. So I, I asked this to everyone, and you know, give me something new here. What What would be your advice to kids? Um, and you have a, di- a unique perspective now, but like kids that you know are playing in the Midwest High School League, you know, doing well, you know, maybe want to play at the next level. Like, what can they do now? You know, as a sophomore, junior, sure. you know, to get better and be ready. Um. To get better, I would say just shoot pucks every single day. Uh, there's no other way to build your shot better than to just shoot pucks. And to, to get to the next level, I think uh, just network yourself and, like, reach out to coaches and, and just put out, all your, put out all your fishing lines to see if you get any bites. So I think uh, just reaching out to people and seeing if they like you or just selling yourself I think is super important. So. Well, thank you very much, Dylan. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see number you. Number 27, Dylan Hinder, the cat. What's your number up there? 76. All right. So number 76, uh, Blue Ox. Thanks, Dylan. I appreciate thank you. it. Next, we have uh, we have Gabe Myers. And old Gaber's going to sit in, and we're going to talk to him. What's up, man? How you doing? How you doing, Gaber? Good. It's really good to see you, my friend. Now, I will make one exception on the Oak Leaf alumni interview, and that's probably for this guy. And many people know him. It's Gabe Meyer. Gabe played for the the other team. We're not going to say who. The Des Moines Capitals. Yeah. yeah. So I was I, I was talking to Dylan. Obviously, uh, we we were talking about you too. That you're up there playing for the Blue Ox. So kind of explain uh, what your role on that team is. What's different between, you know, like high school? I know the pace and all that stuff. What's different between playing high school here and then going up there? Yeah, I think the level in- of intensity, obviously, and just the how serious everyone is because you're the, everyone's there for the same reason and everyone's got the same thing going on. So I think the bond is a lot different as well. So it's it's more of a, I don't know, you can create a lot more chemistry with your guys and that's that's one of the main things I think. So uh, if you remember Gabe as a as a capital two way D man, you know he could fill it up. He can play D on the other side. How you doing up there? What's same kind of thing? You, you putting to, it in the net? No, not yet. Actually, this year I haven't put it in the net. Just getting those assists, man. Uh, it'll come, man. I yeah, know it will. Maybe. All right. So, question time. All right. All right. So uh, what is, and uh, don't say Oakley. What was your favorite memory playing for the Capitals? What was your best? Not on the ice, but like off the ice stuff. What do you guys do? What's your tradition? Honestly, probably the bus rides. We we like to rip out poker a lot on the bus rides, like Casey and the longer ones. And I don't know that was that one stuck for sure. And I mean, definitely at least sophomore year getting that turkey couple in. But other than that, well, tur- th- never mind. I won't bring up the rest of them. So what is your favorite Turkey Cup memory? Would it be that sophomore year? Yeah, probably. I mean, just just the celebration at the end is feeling you can't can't do it again. So, yeah. Absolutely. Cool. All right. What was your sickest, best play in high school that you remember? Ooh, probably Waterloo against Waterloo here. I came down kind of a coast to coast and roofed it against the kid I'm actually playing with now. So it's funny I can talk about it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? Brendan Chainer, also number four. On oh, of the was he playing D? Yeah. I didn't know. He, okay, he's a D guy. Yeah. All right, so I asked Dylan this too, and, and I'm going to ask you a little differently, and I'm going to ask these other guys since you're playing the next level. What can these kids do now? You know, you're a sophomore. You know, you're playing JV. Um, you know, what, what can these kids do now to kind of prepare if they want to play after high school? Just work, man. I don't know. I just just do things that other kids aren't. I mean, obviously, but if you really sit down and think about it, like 
you can find things that you know other kids aren't doing and you do them and you'll see the growth and it, it's crazy how much you can do and how much more you can do than you think you can so all right yeah. one more question you still doing the shield or no nope, i'm i'm caged now i think i'm gonna stick with it oh he's a cager yep I am. all right well gabe say hi to your mom and dad for me yep, i will two very decent people as well and i appreciate you coming by man yep, thank you thanks bud good to see you you too We need. Okay, let me get the drill. Find some people. Well, hey Cooper. Hey Dad. How you doing? Good. Good. Well, if you don't know who this guy is, this is Cooper Michael, number thirty-seven play defense for the Oak Leafs. All right, so what are you doing these days, Coop? Um, I uh, attend Kansas University. Uh, I joined a fraternity down there, uh, Cap Sig, and just working on school pretty much. What is your major? Human biology pre-med. So you want to do be a medicine guy? Yep, uh, radiology. See, I'm, I'm pretending like I don't know any of this. So, um, Coop, uh, so how was the drive back? Long, long. I woke up this morning and I was so tired. And you made it to the game though. So who have you seen at the game so far? Um, everybody. I got uh, I got dinner with Pop, Gino, Kilty, Dom, Huncho, Rolly, and before that I was John and Charlie. Nice. So, um, all right, Coop, it's question time. Are right, you ready? Yeah, let's go. What is your favorite Oak Leaf memory? And not on the ice, but like just kind of. You know, hanging out with the dudes or whatever. The bus rides are pretty fun. Um, getting food after is pretty fun. Like going to Ponce with Pop and Gino, probably my favorite memories. Or going to Target with Glock. What 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 were you doing in Target with Glock? Uh, we bought Pokemon cards. <laughs> I'm sure there were some other shenanigans going on there, but no, nope. we'll leave that be. Nope. All right. What is your favorite Turkey Cup memory? Um, my sophomore year when we went up for the first time in however long, that was probably my favorite Turkey Cup memory. Or, yeah, or last year. But last year. What was last year? What made last year up there? We smoked them. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was what made it. That was what made it good. All right. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to ask you this. What was your best, sickest play in your career? Oh, the best – play I ever had was the goal in overtime in the national championship. But. So explain that. Uh, I was in the slot. I don't know what I was doing. The puck bounced out to my stick. I just hit it. I don't know where I shot it. It went in. And well, that was it. If you don't know, that was the semifinal game against Omaha in the national championship tournament in overtime. overtime. And we were on a power play. And found the back of the net. So, uh, And I'm going to bait you on this. What was your best assist ever? Uh, Cook last year at uh, Ames. That right. was pretty. That was a pretty good assist. All right. Yeah, that was uh, uh, saucer backhand. Cook, Cook kind of grabbed it, toe dragged it, and reverse toe dragged it and beat the goalie. Cook Incredible it, play. Cook made it good. I just kind of passed it. To him. Well, I set you. I set you up for that one. Yep. So Coop, uh, you're at KU now. Um, you know, going to school, uh, doing your thing. So, what advice would you have to these kids playing today? Not not necessarily hockey related, but uh, next, you know, how to prepare themselves for things after hockey. Uh, I'd say just have fun now, and then when you get to college, do your homework. Go to class. Go to class, do your homework. That's all you got to do pretty much. Well, thank you, Cooper, yep. for joining us. And uh, I'm not sure we have anyone else, so we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back.
Welcome back, everyone, to Buccaneer Arena, 21st Annual Turkey Cup for second period action. Oak Leafs up 3-1. And I was just looking at shots. Shots are 12 to 5. We've got three goals off 12 shots. They've got one off five. And Andy, a uh, big power play goal by the Capitals towards the end of the first period kind of kept, kept them in this game. Yeah, well, it was huge. I mean, that's what they needed just to continue to have some life, go to the locker room and be able to regroup. You know, you come out here, you got 17 minutes. If you win this period one nothing, it's a 3-2 game, right? And, and and that's the message, you know. And I'm going to guess that's what Tony Wilde is saying to the Caps. You know, hey, we're right here. You know, just get another one. Just start throwing things in the net. You know, take the body a little bit more, maybe. You know, the you know clean up the turnovers. You know, your communication. If 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 they don't turn that puck over in the front of the net, that goal doesn't score. If Fleming doesn't come out and get one off his paddle, I mean that's kind of a mistake on the goalie there. You know, that doesn't happen. And, and there was another uh, you know mistake that the Capitals made. You know, so you know we're we're feeding off the mistakes the Capitals are. They take those mistakes away. I mean, it, it's anybody's game. Deflection, but off of Fleming's stick, and right. you know this could be a one-one-two-one game, pretty easy. And honestly, we, you know, I can't even say that we've really dominated. I mean, it's been close. They've had some chances too. I mean, we may have dominated on maybe puck possession. Yeah, but it was, you know, it wasn't over dominant. Yeah. I'm now Bird will try to get that deep off shin pad of Ferrari, and he'll pick that one off again. But right back to Creer, he'll backhand it up and through the middle, Cooker, bouncing puck, and now back to Bird in our zone. He'll go for a skate up to Clem. He'll get it over to Mr. Lure Becky, and they'll battle, and he gets tapped up over to Cooker. He'll get it deep. That's Lure Becky will give chase. Fleming cuts it off over to Ladinsky. He tries to backhand it around the boards, but Lure Becky grabbed that puck. And now flipped out of the zone, bouncing puck, and taken over there by, I think that's Teddy. And now bounces to the middle. This is a turnover. That's Myers. And Shizwell just skated out. He'll take the red, tries to get it deep, bouncing puck does. Now he's got a head of steam. He gets it to the middle to Anderson and just wide. Good play there by Shiz. That was all hustle. And we're back the other way. And tipped deep by Meline. And through the middle, and shot from the point, deflected off some bodies wide, and Anderson will get that. And pinball's back to Shizzle. He'll try to get it out of the zone. That should be icing. Nope, they aren't going to call it icing. And Geringer will track that down. Now up through the middle, missed. And over to Holschlag, and Creer will tap that up. And just missed Elliott in on Fleming. He'll tap it wide. And Jones will try to tip that out and does not. That's Shizzle. He'll take it over. He's got a shot, but deflected off and wide. Shiz is on a mission this this yeah. shift. He's had a couple good plays. Now to the middle to Lord Becky, just out of his reach. Now tipped deep by Creer and up out of the zone. Off a of body. Clemson keeps it in. I guess it did come out. And we will, or actually a hand pass was called on that play. So we'll have a face off just outside the blue line. And <laughs> Don't even. Don't even. <laughs> Mr. Springer's in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Haven't seen him in a while. You we might we might just interview him. <laughs> you want anybody he, to talk about an official? He'll he, talk about he an official. He looks like someone we need to interview. <laughs> so 14.32 left in oh. the second period, and we've got a heckler behind us, so we're going to do our best. To get through this now, Cooker with the face off, and I think that was Flaherty got tossed, and now back Creer will pick that up, rims it around, and tap up to Clem. He'll tap it deep, and Cook will be the first one there. Ludinsky tries to run him off the puck, but Clem gets it out to Bird. Bird takes a shot in front, Ooh. and. Fleming will just cover that up. We'll get a face off. Good play there by the Oak Leafs. And, and that's the guy that's going to keep the Capitals in the, in the game is Fleming, right? He's going to puck. That's Anderson. He'll just get it deep. Chisels there. He's got Elliott in the middle. Anderson comes down and grabs it and gets it over to Career. Now it's in front. 
but backhanded out of the crease. And now good play there by Bird to chip that up. And Anderson tries to oh, get it. Nice play. He's got a two on one. He's got Cook. Find him. And good play. I think that was for our opportunity for the Oak Leafs taking taking advantage here and, and get their power play out and, and get that going. So 12-14 left in the second period, and we'll go on our first power play of the evening. We got Elliot Creer, Cooker, Lorbecki, Clem out for the PP. Cooker takes the face off over to Elliot. He'll reverse it over to Creer. Creer settles it down at the blue line. Now back over to Cooker. He kind of loses control of it a little bit, but he's got it. Now back up to Creer at the point. Now back to Cook. He's surveying. He's got Lorbecki in the middle, bouncing puck, and that's going to come out. We'll have to regroup, and that's Creer. He'll throw one up to Cook. Cook takes the zone, drop pass, but out. So we'll have to redo this all over again, and Cook will take that. Minute 37 left in the power play. Lorbecki in the middle. That's Cook behind, and he'll get one up to Clem. Clem over to Creer. Now he'll tap one over, and now backhanded down low by Cooker. Cooker at the point over to Creer, and good play there by Mr. Ferrari again. Now there's James Loxton. He's skating it in. He makes a move and tries to power one in and just shoots it wide. And Creer will take that over with a minute left even in this power play. This is the DMOS power play. And that's Laura Becky. He'll skate in. He'll try to take a shot. Good save by Fleming. And now big hit by Elliott. He's not afraid to hit. That's Creer. There's Cook, and he'll skate it down low. Tries to backhand one to Elliott one time, deflected. Elliott's got it again. That's Cook over to Clem, and now tries to backdoor one over to Elliott, but just timing was off just a hair. Now Cook at the point over to Creer. Takes a shot, rebound in front, and cleared with 18 seconds left in the DMOS power play. So we'll get a change. Now the puck comes back up. And Lorbecki grabs it at the blue line, stops, and we kind of go for a skate, drop past the Clem. And Clem will just skate the puck. He'll skate it around. Still got it. Now he tries to go find Elliott, cross ice, and kind of misses other one. Elliott through the middle mm. out of the zone, so Teddy's going to have to track that down. And he will win that foot race with Meline. And he'll try to skate it up the middle. Meline picks it off. Now loose puck. And that's Anderson. He'll get it out to the red line and deep again. And Teddy will have to start over. He's got Anderson, but it bounces off the boards. And that's Gladson. He'll get it deep and skate. Now down low. Gladson there. Overskates it, now passed up to me line. They take the zone. That's Myers in the middle. Good shot and save by Safner. Good glove save. If he didn't grab that, that would have been two, three to two right yeah. there. Max Myers was skating down the middle, and he would have had that rebound. I think the Capitals did a good job by killing that penalty. I think we, we could have... You know, been a little bit more patient, move puck around, get them out of out of position a little bit, a little bit more than what we did. But so Ferrari will take the face off with Cook comes to the middle and just high, dangerous shot there. Now battle down low, rims up to Ladinsky. He'll take a shot, but off a of Clem and thrown to the middle by Reams and. Comes out of the zone, so Ferrari will have to pass that over to Brooks, and he'll get it up through the middle. Now, good pass over there to Reams. Reams has got Ferrari in the middle, and good save by right. Safter there, not giving up a rebound, and so we had Ferrari coming in the middle. Yeah, and that was a crucial save, because if he gives up a rebound, he has a, a capital right there on the back door, ready to pounce on that rebound, so... So 8.51 left in the second period. Still 3-1. No scoring in the second yet. 
And bouncing puck, Lorbecki tries to track that down and can't. And Ludinsky will try to get that in the zone and thrown deep. And Flaherty there for the Capitals. Now tapped around to the near boards. Near the red line, still down there, still a battle. C tries to come up front and we'll get a penalty. Not sure who it's on, that's a hold, probably on us. And it is, I think that's on Brolin. And he'll go to the box with 8.29 left in the second period. Big PK here for the Oak Leafs. Well, now the biggest thing I'm gonna look for here is our positioning, if, if we get the puck to the other mm -hmm. end, where's our positioning, making sure we don't give away the middle of the ice. Because last time we gave away the middle of the ice and they had that long stretch pass. Are we gonna correct that, making sure that we're covering that middle, that, that long stretch pass can't exist and make them work up the ice? Well, we have Bird, Clem, Teddy, and Elliot out on the ice for the Brush Home Solutions penalty kill. And Brooks will get that deep. And goes through the middle and picked off there by Sacre. Sacre skates to the middle, takes a shot. Glove save by Safner. Lost it, but no one there. And he covers. Now Creer will skate on. And he'll take Clemenson's spot. So a minute 37 left in the penalty kill. Same four except for Creer. And good stick there by Teddy. Bouncing puck down low. Oak Leafs kind of settle in here. Now pass across. That's Brooks. He'll take a shot. Deflected in. Oh, he got it. And I think that was Henry Ferrari with the deflection. It's 3-2. Yeah. And the Oak Leafs have given up two goals on two power plays. Or excuse me, penalty kills. Well, well <laughs> Capitals power yeah, plays. Yeah, Capital power plays have scored twice. They're two for two. And Oak Leafs are over, over two on the penalty kill. And, you know, we were kind of looking at on the on the league website, you know, kind of the penalty kill power play percentages, and we didn't think they were, might have been right. I don't know. Yeah, I they, I think they might have been right. <laughs> they might be right. Yeah, we were towards the middle bottom of the league in penalty kill. Now bouncing puck, another shot on that. And the Capitals have the momentum here. And I tell you what, you better not let them score again. Bouncing puck in front, now tapped up to Lorbecki. He taps it up to Clem. He's got a one-on-one -on -one and tries to make a move and comes down below. He'll skate it, and he'll feather one over to Mertz. Mertz takes a shot, off some skates, now comes back the other way. Good step up there by Clem. Now Mertz tries to get it deep, takes a shot, glove down by Fleming, and we'll get a whistle. Yeah, right now, I mean, the Oakleys, they have to have the next one. I mean, yeah. if, if you don't have the next one, I mean, the other side of the arena is going to erupt, and that energy is just going to fill one side of the bench, and you're going to have a lot of things on your heels. So, Well, we know it's the turkey cup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anything can happen here. Now, that's Cooker. He'll get it over to Bird, over to Creer, takes a shot, bouncing puck, and loose in front. And oh. Fleming didn't know where that was. We'll have a face-off. His reaction was, I thought it went in. But so we'll have another face-off. And the Ozone, same five for the Oak Leafs. And bouncing puck to Creer. He just gets it in, deflected by Fleming Stick. Tapped over by Lorbecki. He's got a battle. And he gets pinched up against the boards. And here comes Meline. He'll take it in, tries to make a move, gets taken off the puck, good play by Neeline. And up to Clem, that should be icing. Actually, yeah, it it's will going be. To be. And we'll get a we'll get a face off. Good play there by Meeline. He made him dance, he had a shot, just couldn't get it off. You know, the amazing thing about this game, is you could throw the, the, the Records out doesn't matter, you know. It, it, it's about heart and willingness and, and the drive, and, and the Caps are bringing it in this second period. Now tapped up to Elliott. That's onside. Shizzle off his skate. Bouncing puck. 
And it comes back the other way. And that was more for the Capitals. Elliott skates it in, tries to make a guy miss. Good play to knock him off the puck, but that's over to Shiz. And he takes a shot just wide. And now there's Teddy, takes a shot in some bodies. Now battle with Shizzle. He has control of it. He gets in the middle, one timer by Elliott, misses. And Holschlag will have to grab that. That's Ethan. And almost turned over by Shiz. Now back the other way at the blue line. They'll regroup. And Garringer will pass that really over to no one. And Anderson will just get that deep. And Jones will track that down. And here come the Capitals. Someone's got to stop the puck. That's Jones. He just skates it down low, tries to center it, and comes out. Comes through the middle, bouncing puck. Now picked up and taken down. Good play. No call. Now passed up just off a of skate from Creer over to Clem, and he'll throw it deep. And that rims around to Cook. He'll be the first one there. He kind of leaves it there for Laura Becky. Career tries to get it deep, rims it around over to Clem. Clem kind of whiffs on the pass of the point, but does make it, but it's out of the oh. zone. And we'll have a face-off just outside our zone with 5.02 left. And, you know, we went into this period with 12 shots. So if you do the math, we got 20 now. We've had eight. Right. So. Well, and the Capitals only have had three. Yeah, they've had three, and they've scored. But they but they've scored ones, you know, on the, on the power play. And Tipped up to Bird. He'll throw it deep, and Fleming will grab that. Reversed over, but Cooker's there. He tries tapping one out the middle. That's Bird. He'll take a shot in some skates. Ferrari will corral that puck, but lose control, and Clemenson picks it up. He'll be his man. He's got Cook. He sauces one over to Cook and tries to go high blocker and good save by Fleming. I think if Cook goes, you know, instead of high blocker, gets that going across, he, he might be able to have something a little bit more than what he had there. Yeah, he was kind of at a weird angle, you know, where you can right. either try to snipe or come across. And he chose to snipe, and Fleming was up for the up for the challenge. <laughs> And Logson back the other way for the Capitals. Kind of a stutter step, takes a shot, whips on it. Thank goodness, now it's still loose in front of the net. It's still loose, this is dangerous. Now tapped out to the front, shot there wide. And Capitals control in the zone, now overskated. Shizzle tries to take his guy the puck. Now we're right back on our heels, deflected wide. Comes to the middle, that's Anderson. He'll skate it out, he'll flip it off the ice, bouncing puck, he try to track his own pass down. Now back to Elliott. He comes in, takes a shot, saved by Fleming. And we'll have a whistle and a face-off. Right there, I think, you know, if if Elliott sees Shizzle on the other side, I think he almost passed it there instead of taking that shot. Because I think Fleming was, was set to make that save. I think if you get him to move and Shizzle puts the right shot on there, I think that's, that's a goal for the Oakleys. Bouncing puck comes the other way, and Bird will have to track that down. No icing. He'll swing it behind the net, and Laura Becky will pick that up and wheel it. He'll come through the middle, and that's Creer. He'll make a guy miss, make another guy miss, takes a shot, deflected up in the netting. It should be in the zone, and it is. And we'll get a face off. A 344 left, 3 2. Good guys. The Capitals coming back with two power play goals. To make this a game, and Cooker will take the face off. Comes down to Clemson, oh. backhand, quick shot. That's saved by Fleming, back the other way. That's Meline. He's got Myers in the middle, takes a shot. Good save by Safner. Big save by Safner. Now back to the other side, and Bird will actually let Rebecca get that. Clemson. Loses control, now Bird will reverse that to Creer. Takes a weird bounce, now good job by Creer to win that battle. Tips it to himself and he'll come out the other side. Tries to go through the middle, turned over. But thank goodness it was 
And I tell you what, you better win that battle, Ludinsky. And Lebecki's in on net, bouncing oh. puck. Crowd wanted a penalty on that. I didn't really see one, but uh, that's out of the zone. And Career will have to take that, throw it deep. We'll check up and get a change all at the same time. The 2.52 left. Good pressure here by the Oak Leafs. Now up to the blue line. That's Van Arum. He's got the puck. He'll take a shot just wide. And now in on that, deflected wide. And Friedrich will take that, bounce a pass up to Cooker. He tries to get it deep off the ref. Unfortunately, now we're way off sides. And that's thrown deep. Now Shizzle on the four check. That's Anderson, too. Comes up to the middle. And he'll throw it over Van Arum. We've got a two-on-two two coming back the other way. Van Arum takes a shot wide. And tracked down there by Jones. Tips it deep. Now makes the guy miss, takes a shot, rebound. Oh, yes. there it is. Man, some sloppy, sloppy uh, puck handling down in our own zone. Cost us there, and it's 3-3. Yep. It's a tie. It's a tie game with 2.08 left in the second period. Well, it's a tie game. We, you know, you let some bounce in front of your own net, and you're, able, you're not able to clear in front. Well, those, those things are going to happen. And now you've given every life to, to the Capitals bench, players on there and their side. So, Well, you know what we need to do here, Andy? We need to respond. That's the best medicine, and that's Shizzle. Shizzle will get it taken away from him. Anderson will just throw that deep and track down there by the Capitals. Elliott there on the four check. And tap to the middle, that's Ferrari. And picked off there by Bird. And he'll go up through the middle. And here comes Creer. He's got a head of steam. He'll skate it in off a of body and glove down by Fleming. And we'll get a little pushing there. And that's what this game is going to turn into. Yep. And honestly, it might wake us up a little bit, Andy. Well, I mean, he is. You, you need a little bit of that, right? Yeah. You, oh, yeah. You, you gotta light a fire underneath your own guys. You, you gotta take a penalty. You know, you got you gotta light something. So, minute thirty six left in the second period. We'll go Cook, Clem, and Laura Becky, Creer and Friedrich, and here comes Logston the other way, and taken away by Creer. He'll come up to Clem. He'll tap it off a of Ladinsky skate, so it should be no icing here. And Cooker will try to smoke him out. Bouncing puck. Where Becky tries to kick it, but right back to him. He's got it. He's got Clem in the middle. Tries to find him, but couldn't get a stick on it. Now flipped out of the zone, and Teddy's there, and he'll spin. Tries to find Cook, and does. Gets it up the boards. Now Cook picks it off. He'll skate across the red line, dump it deep, cross ice, and he'll chase. And gets by everyone, and I think we're going to call icing here. Sorry, he couldn't see the puck. This, is a, big, this is a big draw. It is. You know, we need to win this one, be able to work it. You got 49 seconds. If you, you know, win this draw, kind of work it. If you get back to your D, to back to Friedrich, over to Bird. If Bird can get a nice low shot, it kind of gets through. Maybe a little bit of tip, a little bit of screen. So Ladinsky skates on for the Capitals, and we'll get a face-off. Cook actually wins that, but Meline was there to pick it off. Now Cooker makes a man miss. He's got a shot and just over everything. And we'll get another face-off. There's 40.9 seconds left in the second period. We got ourselves a game. I think if Clem takes that all the way across, he's going to draw a penalty. Instead of taking that, you know, the percentage of that shot going in is very low. Take that thing across, see if he can't drive it in, see if he can't open up a five hole. If, if nothing else, you might get a penalty out of it. And Teddy up the boards, big hit along the bench, but Lorbecki comes away with the puck. He gets hit again, throws a deep. Clemenson tries to track that down, and he wins that battle. He gets caught in some skates, still in some skates, and comes back the other way. That's Ferrari. He's up to Reams, and centered across 
but missed everyone. Or Becky, and that's an icing call. No, they called it off. And comes back the other way, that's Logston. we got three seconds left. He'll take the shot, glove down by Safner, and that will be the end of the second period. And I will tell you what, the Capitals will not quit. They battle back. And Andy, you were saying, hey, if they come out and, you know, win this period and, you know, one nothing, but they came out in two nothing. Yeah, well, and they own that period. I, they, they really, I think I'll, I'll play the Oak Leafs, and I think they, they actually dominated that period and won that. You know, you know, even if you say we outshot them, we didn't get quality shots, and, and so, you know, those are the things that when you go to the locker room, you're going to be talking about. Hey, we can get shots. We got to get quality shots, and we got to be working together and. We had some breakdowns in, in, in our own net, and we gave them life. And the, you got to battle back through that. So now they got to answer the call. So now it's all about the third period. You're, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. It doesn't matter. Well, I tell you what, it's nothing better than a third period game in the Turkey Cup. I know. And we get to watch it. So um, I'm not sure if we have any alumni interviewees, but if we do, uh, we'll come back on air. Just pay attention. It's trying to it's kind of like herding cats to try to get these guys up here so we'll be back in a little bit Well, welcome back. We did find some alumni. We did find some. Dominic Wade, How's number it going? 16, man. Yeah. How you doing, brother? I'm doing good. Uh, I am so glad you came up here. I haven't seen you in a while. I think senior day at Roosevelt yeah. the last time I saw you. Yeah. So, Dom, um, what are you doing now, man? Uh, I just I'm at Ellsworth Community College playing baseball. Just doing school and baseball. It's going pretty good. How's it going? It's going actually very well. Right so, when's now. the season start? It starts in the end of February. Oh, really? So Hopefully you're playing south. No. It starts in Iowa, so it's going to be cold. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, like, what's your daily routine like? I mean, you obviously you got class, you got baseball. Yeah. So, we always got breakfast at 7. And then throughout the day, you have your individuals. So, it's, I'm, I'm a two-way, so a pitcher and player. Wait a minute. No. no PO. No PO. No PO here. Is that good or bad? What are you thinking about it? Uh, I like it. I'd rather have. I mean, it, you're definitely busy throughout the day. So, I mean, you're busy from seven till six every night. Then you have a lift at eight. A, so, eight. what do you? What's your other position then? Uh, third base. Okay, so infield. Yep, infield. Do you like it? I love it. Good. Yeah. All right. So it's question time for Mr. Dominic Wade. All right. 
Um, what was your favorite Oak Leaf memory? Not necessarily on the ice, but, you know, off the ice. Off the ice, uh, just the hotels. I mean, it's a different experience. You can't explain it. But just having the team all at one place, it's just a fun time. Something you never get. And uh, Dom was a part of JV Championship. Yeah. Uh, we placed second last year at state and second in the national tournament. So yeah. heck of a career, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Um, all right. So what is your favorite Turkey Cup moment? My favorite Turkey Cup moment? Um, I mean, the three-peat from sophomore, junior, senior year was always fun. So having the wins on our side. So before that, I think we had lost maybe four in a row. Yeah. And uh, since Dominic's sophomore year, it was a three-peat. So, um, all right, what was your what was your best play, best goal that you remember as an Oakley? Uh, probably in the state uh, for the JV tournament. It was kind of electric. It was very fun. And, uh, I mean, had everybody jumping. So it was awesome. Yeah, that was a great day. That was in Ames. All right, one last thing, and I'm going to ask you a little different question. So – you got a kid that's maybe a sophomore or junior in high school. He's playing, you know, shiz. He's a good example. Baseball player, hockey player. What, what would be your advice to him, you know, the, to, to maybe take it to the next level? Uh, just keep working. Keep your head down. Don't do anything stupid outside. Uh, set a goal. You always achieve it. You just do your thing. I mean, practice, 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 and you'll get there. I think uh, so. You've heard from three different Oak Leaf alumni about playing at the next level, whether it's baseball or hockey, and you've all said the same thing. And it boils down to you got to work for it. Yeah, so, you got to work for sure. I mean, it's not going to come given it to you, so you got to go get it. Dominic Wade, thank you for coming and joining us, man. I thank love you. you. Thank you. Thank and uh, who we got next? Who we got next? Oh, man. All right, this is a special treat. We have Mr. Clock in the house. You do. When how are you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? Good. All right, so um, what, what are you doing now? I know, but I'm going to ask you. Yeah, so I'm uh, my second year at Iowa State studying mechanical engineering, and that's pretty much all I'm up to up now these days. So what um, mechanical engineering, like what are you thinking, or just kind of more generic right now, or you, you got to focus? Yeah, so I'm still kind of broad right now. I don't know quite what I want to do, but... I'm going on co-op in the spring semester through the summer working at Ag Leader Technology, so that'll be fun. So in the spring semester? Yeah, so coming up in January. Nice. So is that, uh, how long does that last? Uh, about eight months. So you'll be back uh, fall of next year? Yep. Great. Um, all right. So now you're on the hot seat. All right. So what was your favorite oak leaf memory? Forget about on the ice, but just kind of off the ice kind of oak leaf memory. Um, I would say it was definitely maybe just playing ping pong after practice sometimes the locker room, the team dinners and the big team camaraderie moments. Yeah, it's funny, Hender was up here before and he said <laughs> ping pong with you. Yeah, we would play <laughs> ping pong for hours after practice. Yeah, someday. that's a, it's funny that both of you guys said the same thing. <laughs> so, um, what's your favorite teacup memory? I would say definitely last year. I mean, two years ago, my yeah. senior, yeah. The close game, the win with like a minute left yeah. and the first time we've won in like I don't know, like four or five years, something like that. Absolutely. All right. What is what is the play you remember most, like in your career? It was the probably the teacup night where Spencer Coltrane on this side of the zone, he had the puck right up top, and he shot it. It kind of was like fluttering up in the air, and then it just went in the back of the net, and the whole place went nuts, and we we're like, whoa. Yeah, that was an incredible moment, and you can replay that moment on Oak Leaf TV Plus. All right, last thing. Um, so you're a little like Coop. Um, played hockey for four years uh, went to school you've been there longer than Coop yep. so like what's your advice to these younger guys you know maybe they're not going to play hockey but you know I know it was your passion too so you know what how did you transition from that and how what are you focused on now yeah I would just say when you get there you're obviously not going to have hockey anymore just stay active and find friends whether you're at stay in touch with the guys you knew here and just stay active doing something and just don't let yourself be bored that is excellent advice my friend hey Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Miss you, man. Good luck. Thank you. All right, who we got? Oh, all right. What's up, Brian? Mr. Rowley, number 28. Yep. How you doing, Captain? I'm good. 
Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, sitting next to me is the old number 28. Yep. And uh, captain of the team last year. And so what are you up to now, Rolly? Going to Iowa State, um, hanging out with my buddies, studying finance. Finance? Yep. That's about it. Not too much. You're going to football games? Oh, yeah. Yep. Hang out there a lot. Tailgate every day. Yeah. Every Good. Every Any day. hockey going on? Me and my buddies actually go up to the ice arena Sunday nights and play. Stick, so you're stick, still playing? Go to stick and fucks. Yeah, that's not, good, yeah, man. Nothing serious. Well, I know, but it keeps you it keeps you fresh. Yeah. Yep. So uh, Mr. Rolly here had some silky smooth mitts. I like to think that he did. And guess what? He always played with that smile you see right now on his face, and that's the one thing I loved watching you play. So great season last year, second at state. I know that was a heartbreaker. Uh, second at nationals. Yep. Um, and uh, just a great way to end a career. All right, so now you're on the hot seat. What was your favorite Oak Leaf moment off the ice? Off the ice, I just hanging out with the at the hotel with my buddies. I always remember Dom, Liam, all the all those guys going out to eat at the hotels, things like that. Where's is Liam here tonight? Yeah, he's somewhere around here. Well, you gotta get him up here. Yeah, well, we're running out of time. But all right, favorite turkey cup moment. Oh. Probably just last year winning a senior cup or senior season. So three in a row, the three peat. Yep. I've heard that a lot. Yep. Um, what was your best play or sickest play or the play you remember most that you made? Oh man, this is an easy one for me. That backhand against Ames is probably the coolest thing I've ever done. I don't even know if you remember it. Is that the Recplex I was coming in on the left was side? Was it last year? Yeah. Yep. I just. Threw it backhand and far down. And was, oh, I do remember yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was pretty sick. That was pretty sick, my friend. Yeah. And you filled it up, too. You filled it up since you were a kid, man. Yeah. So, um, all right. Um, I kind of asked this before, but, you know, your advice to these kids, maybe not school, but, um, you know, after you get done playing hockey, you know, what, what's your advice to these guys? I mean, first off, they just got to enjoy the hockey part. I mean, I don't know if I took it for granted, but I'd like to go back and do it. But for life, hmm, probably just being nice to everyone you know. You never know when it's going to come back. My dad always likes to say that. That's just, true. Yeah, just being nice to everyone, and things will start to work out for you. It's amazing how smart dads are, isn't it? Yeah, yep, seems that way. All right, Rolly. Hey, take care. Thank you for coming up. Well, and if there's anyone else, is there anyone else up here? No, I think we're good. So appreciate you coming up, yeah. my friend. Thank you. Yep. I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back for the third period. Thank you.
Welcome back everyone to the Buccaneers Arena. Tonight's Kirby Cup between the Des Moines Capitals and your Des Moines Oakleys, Brian Michael, Andy Wade, Jason Merck. Andy, we <laughs> we got a hockey game. We do. We have a huge game and it comes down to this period, 17 minutes, who wants it more? And you know, I, I yeah, we won the first period 3 to 1, but I don't think we out played them all that much but the second period it was all capitals i think you know i think they were the dominant team on, on uh, the drive and wanted to get things done so now it comes down to the third period who wants it more well and they didn't make the mistakes they made in the first period right and and, and, and then fleming played well in that second period absolutely you know i think he made some you know some you know crucial saves that, you know you can remember a couple uh two that were big uh to keep them, you know, from getting down, you know, a goal there, but we get, we just got to regroup and we got to just be patient. We got to find each other. We got, you know, communication. And I think it comes down to keeping possession of the puck. Well, whoever wins this period is going to win the game. <laughs> and we got 17 minutes to find out. And the boys who are trying to win it for the Oak Leafs right now are Cooker. Or Becky, Clementson, Bird, and Creer. And Clem will try to get that deep. And we'll go D to D. Now up through the middle tip. That should be icing, and it is. I don't know why that's not icing. That was, should have been icing. Now picked off there by Reams. Now bounces back over to Ladinsky. And he goes up, tries to find Ferrari, but picked off there by Cooker. Ferrari comes up the middle. Good pass, but... In some skates, and that's Creer. He'll go up to Lurbecki. He'll grab the puck, cross ice to Cook. Cook will try to get it in, but he'll find Ladinsky instead. Now up the boards, picked off by Lurbecki. Good stick. Now through the middle, and up and out. And Bird will get that deep, rimmed around. Lurbecki there. He'll throw it in just wide, and Brooks there. He tried to pass that up to Loxton. He'll go cross ice, but miss everyone and. Career will pick that up and over to Shizzle. Shizzle's got some room. He skates the middle but loses control of the puck. And Bartholomew comes back the other way, backhanded in by Anderson. And it goes deep to Brooks. Brooks tries to make a move, pick, uh, just out of the reach of Shiz. Now up the boards. And backhand there by Meline over to Bartholomew. He's got a head of steam, stops, loses control of the puck. And out. And that's Jones. He'll make a guy miss. And he's still got the puck. He's been doing this all night. Shot, rebound, just oh. high by Myers. And we Bartholomew there. there. Now through the middle and picked off by Elliott. And flipped up to Anderson. Anderson's got the red. He'll just throw it deep. And that'll bounce off the high netting glass area. And we'll get a whistle. And a face-off in the O-zone. Well, this period's kind of starting like the second period. Yeah. It, we just can't seem to find any pressure. And Cooker will take the face-off. You know, Andy, it's a little quiet in here. Yeah. Well, Becky they, grabs it. Everybody's kind of on the edge of their seat. <laughs> waiting for, they're kind of waiting for the for the other shoe to drop because whoever scores next in this game is going to have a decided advantage. And that's where Becky comes back the other way and shot just wide. And up the near boards where Becky there, now Cook, now shot. Ooh. I think he needed to make that save. Another shot in the gut. We're getting... We're just chasing. We are. We're, we're really chasing. You know, the puck's going back and forth, and we're we're just not staying at home. If we stay at home, let that thing stay on the outside. You're fine out there, but when we start chasing side to side, that's where we can get ourselves in trouble. So Cooker will take the face off and up the boards, and Flaherty, or excuse me, that's Van Arum, tips it deep. He tries to come mm. through the middle, and just off Flaherty skates to the corner, and Brooks will have to track that down. 
And he'll run that over to Ladinsky. He'll grab it on his backhand. Spin up. Finds Flaherty. And that puck comes off. Good move there. He'll skate it in. We're backing up. And rebound just shot wide. We need to challenge him a little bit more. Coming into the zone. Now Ferrari takes a shot. Bounces wide. And now Rebecca just tries to backhand it out. Can't. Puck comes over to the far side. And shot deflected in. And that's a goal. I oh, thought that man. was a goal for sure. And bounces in. That's, that's a goal, goal there. We are just absolutely getting smoked here. Yeah, we we're are we are all cooler. over the place, and we're not even uh, our heads not even on a swivel. You know, picking up guys. Caps, Caps want it more. You know, and that's that was our top line right there, boys and girls. And just absolutely got outplayed that shift. And now there needs to be a little urgency here as we let a 3-1 lead slip away in the first period. And now it's 4-3, 13.50 left in the third period. And puck goes deep. That's Mertz. And loses control. Comes around. Up the board to Shizzle. Shizzle loses that puck. We just cannot control the puck. Now tapped up and turned over. Backhanded deep. And tip back deep. And Mertz up the board to Anderson, and he'll just chop it out into the into the bench, and we'll keep the same five out. So 13-26 left in this game. And Moulton will take the face off for the Capitals. Comes to the middle. And fortunate there, he didn't get good wood on that because that was a point blank shot. Now back, bounces over to Teddy. Now up to Shizzle, bouncing puck, kept in the zone. And comes back deep, that's Teddy battling for it. And he'll rim it back up and kept in by Campbell, but Shizzle's there. And up to Elliott, now back over to Teddy. We, we honestly cannot take the zone at this point in time. And that's what Elliott does. Takes a flutter on goal. And that's an easy save for Fleming. And we'll take a face off. With 12.52 left. And shots are 20 to 14 in favor of the Capitals. If that doesn't tell you anything. Yeah. We have gotten thoroughly outplayed the last period. And. Period. All of this period so far, but there's plenty of time left for the Oak Leafs. Just need to get our act together and get some pressure and play some sound hockey. Bouncing puck, glove down. And Brooks will try to rim that around. That comes out from me, line stick. And Bird tries to get that in off of ref, so it stays right up by the blue line. And Bartholomew gets one in. Tries to find Myers, but Clemenson takes that puck the other way for the Oak Leafs and off a skate, comes back the other way, and we got a rush. And shot wide. And that's Lord Becky. He'll try to chip and does. And he'll take the blue line on side. He'll come to the middle of Cooker just off his stick and on his backhand. And easy save there by Fleming. Good play. Just yeah. couldn't connect. And with 12 of six left, we get a ozone face off. Well, I think right now we need something out of this line right here. We can't we can't utilize uh, Clemenson and, and Cooker and, and company. I think Elliot Anderson and Shizzle right here need, need to, you know, kind of step up and, and take this take this shift over. And they can. We got Teddy and Holschlag on the backside. And face off back to Elliot. Elliot will turn it back to Holschlag. He'll take a shot off a skate, bounces wide. Now we got a battle any other way. And that's Ferrari. He'll come up to the middle. Gates takes the blue line. Reams takes a shot. Deflected. And comes over. And chipped out, but kept in. 
on a good play there by Jones. And Teddy kind of whiffs on it up the shizzle. Now bouncing puck to Anderson and passed out, but right back to, and turned over there by Elliott. This is our chance, takes a shot just wide and actually it was saved and it kind of trickled across the blue blue paint. Holschlag tries to keep it in, but it comes out. So we'll have to check up. And Andy, all we gotta do is just keep this pressure up. At least we're keeping it down at this end. Right. And we got a penalty here. And that's, that's what you need right there. Is you need a Good when job you, there. When you, when you go hard in the net, yeah. you're gonna draw something, right? Either yeah. you're gonna get a good, you're gonna draw a good shot, or you're gonna draw a penalty. Good job you're there, by Shingle. Yep. Now you, here's your advantage, right? Now you got you got to set things up, and, and take two minutes. Like you got two minutes, settle for that perfect shot or that perfect, you know, backdoor pass, you know, whatever. You know, just don't shoot, just shoot. So Cooker will take the Demos power play face off with Elliott, Lorbecki, Creer, and Clemenson. And Puck comes over to Elliott. He gets it up to Clem. He'll pass it back down to Elliott on the near boards. And he'll skate it up to Clem at the blue line. He gets it over to Creer. Creer will sit there and wait. Takes a shot in on that and save. Tried for the deflection with Brolin in front. And good play there by the Capitals. To Keep that from deflecting, but still plenty of time left in the no zone yep. face off. And I'm okay with that shot because it's nice and low. You're looking for a tip, you know, maybe a little bit of a screen. So we'll talk about that later, Andy. Where Becky has it, he'll get it up to Clem. Clem skates from the top. He'll skate to the circles. Still got it. I'm trying to find Lord Becky in, and then it'll get cleared. Like there, I don't think that passes there. Don't take that one. Just hang on to it. Go behind the net. You know, what do you think about playing from the bottom? Well, I, I always loved playing from the bottom. I know. That's why I ask you that. <laughs> <laughs> now pass over to Lorbecki. He takes a shot. Oh, that's in. That's in. That they call it no. That's, boy, that looked like it was in to me. But we still have it. Clemenson will drop pass that over to Elliott. And I will tell you, we'll be talking about that goal for a long time if we don't come back. Now back in front. Now over to the side, Elliott. They try to clear it. Bouncing puck is out, so we'll get a face off with 57 seconds. Plenty of time left here. Yeah, and that was off of us because it went off of Elliott up and over. So it's going to be a draw on the outside. So the eagle eye, Andy Wade, is correct. We'll have a face off, but just outside the blue line. And that's Cooker, Lord Becky, same five. And puck is cleared now. Sapner will settle that down for Clem. Clem will take that puck up to Brolin. Brolin gets, it, gets his pocket picked. But Clem's there to save the day, comes out, gets chapped back. And he'll skate around the net and clear it. There's 26 seconds left in the power play, and that's Creer. He'll make a guy miss. He's just going to take it himself, and he'll drop that off for Clem over to Elliott. He throws it deep and picked off there by Brolin Cooker. Cooker skates. Six seconds left. And he'll come to the slot, take a shot, block. Here comes Locks in the other way. Seven seconds left. That's the end of the penalty. And Brolin will pick that off and skate it behind. So there was a golden opportunity for the Oak Leafs to get back into this game. Brolin just kind of skating through everyone. Gets taken off the puck by Barons, And we throw it deep. That should be icing. And it is. 8.49 left. Oak Leafs need a goal to keep this thing going. I thought we had one on that power play, but it must have. Just hit the uh, crossbar Bar and, and popped out, but we don't get an instant replay here in the Midwest High School Hockey League. Well, don't you know someone, Andy? <laughs> Swiped away from the crease, now out in front, still loose, and they'll clear. That's Mert. It gets by him. We don't have enough cameramen like Mert. <laughs> Now Mertz has the puck. 
trying to find someone to pass it to. Gets it up to Shiz. Shiz just taps it to the middle, and the Capitals will control. They'll come up through the middle, picked off there by Here Teddy. Here we go. Here's their chance. Teddy, great play. Come on, let's finish this offside. Oh, 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 oh. oh. High stick. We call the high stick. Eh, it might have been the right call. It might good, have been the right call. Good play by Teddy there. Man, that was kind of a late whistle. <laughs> Well, I think it was he didn't it was it. a high stick, but they were waiting yeah, for him to touch, touch the puck. Yeah. No replay there either. Well, I guess we'll see. Well, well we can yeah. look at the replay here. And yeah, uh, it might, yeah, it was close. It was that close. Was close. Puck comes out of the zone. That's Ladinsky, and that's Clementson. And Cooker will try to make that play. We're just really not getting any bounces either. No. And comes through the middle, had a guy, a cooker there. He tries drop passing in, in the zone. That's really never a good idea. And here comes, and they just missed on that one. Well, Bird had a chance to get it over to Creer. Now he does. Now up the boards, Laura Becky. He's got cooker, but they've got it covered. Laura Becky's going to have to try to skate to the middle, gets taken off the puck. And here comes Campbell through the middle. We got a two on one. And good play there by Bird to break that up. Now back. Ladinsky controls. And up through the middle, picked off by Creer. He tries to tap one. We're getting a little too cute here. Yeah. And puck comes back. Should be icing. Why isn't that not icing? And no icing call. So we'll just throw it up the boards. And Anderson will try to get that deep. But picked off there by Geringer. Now back. Almost picked off by Anderson over to Elliott. He'll throw it cross ice deep. Ladinsky there for the Capitals. Now up the boards and out. We're going to face off 6.51. The clock's ticking, Andy. It, it's ticking, and, and we're just not gelling right now. I mean, we're kind of throwing things, but we're, we're trying to make a play that may not be there. We need to settle it down and be able to just control the puck. Like, just... You know, do the things that have gotten you to the point where you're at. And comes back the other way. Shiz is just on side, and there's Anderson. And he tries to take his man off the puck. Shizzle does. They're battling. Tries to swipe it over to Elliott. Elliott pokes it. And oh, we're going to get a penalty. And that's not a good sign no. here. And let's get the puck touched up, boys. Fleming skates off, so they'll have the extra attacker. And honestly, we're in no hurry to touch this thing up. And stretch pass, and that should do it. With Holschlag touching the puck up, and we'll have a penalty kill the 613. And that's one thing we don't want to do because the Capitals are two for two on power plays tonight. Yeah. I mean So big point of the game here. We got to kill this penalty, and then we got to score a goal. We got to do that all in the six minutes and 13 seconds that's left in this game. Puck comes through the middle, wide open on the back door, but pass was high and wide. Now it comes up to Clem. We got a two on two if we hurry here. Clem comes to the net. Backhand. Oh, oh. Laura Becky missed it. <laughs> Laura Becky. Wide open that. Wide open that. Just couldn't find the he puck. He is going to want that back. <laughs> Chuck scored some few, some big goals in his career. He's going to want that one. Now it comes to the point. Takes a shot. Now that goes wide. Minute 20 left in the D or Bresh Home Solutions penalty kill. And now we got a penalty. Oh, they got the penalty, way. so. We'll go four on four here for a minute five. So and we'll see if we can capitalize on this. Here, here's the nice thing about this situation. Four on four, you, you know, depending on how you want to play that, right? Opens the ice, gives more time and space. I mean, guys. You can move the puck, right? So it's all about puck possession. So keep the puck, possess it, 
Give give uh, Clemenson and, and Cooker a little bit of breather. See if you can't get a whistle here in the next 30 seconds. Let them work it. Now here comes the Capitals. They'll skate it in. That's Teddy. Comes up, tipped up there by Anderson. Good job by him. He's got some room. He'll skate to the middle, takes a shot. That's wide. Comes off the other side and back the other way. And that's Bartholomew. He'll get it over to the far side. Good move there, but turns it over. Now Teddy gets battled down low. And up the boards and out. Bouncing puck, so no icing. 20 seconds left, four on four. And we'll have about a 50-some second power play. And shot, bouncing puck, in on net. And Gladson's there to clean it up. And he'll find, that's Clem. Makes a guy miss, makes another guy miss. Takes a shot, gloved down by Fleming. Okay. And that's the end of the four on four. So we'll have 55 seconds left in the power play as Elliott comes out of the box. I think you have to score in this power play. In the next 55 seconds, we gotta get a goal. Well, there's four minutes left, so four, four minutes, 12 seconds left. Shot 16 to 22, them. Now picked off there by Creer. He'll skate to the middle. He'll take a shot, deflected wide. That's over to Cook. They're really packing the middle. Creer takes a shot, tries to find the back door of Elliott and just wide, but we've got the puck in the zone. That's Creer again, 38 seconds left. Tries to find a stick again, deflected wide. Clem goes and comes out with the puck. He'll skate to the slot. They are packing it in. Clem takes a shot, and that was saved by Fleming. He he had control of the puck. He kind of lost it a little bit, but we got a whistle with 25 seconds left in the power play. This is it here, Andy. I, I think really, you're right. I really think we we got to spread them out, draw them towards it. They, they probably won't come. And then you just kind of drive the net, and then you just got to – you you got to have something low find, find look for, with a rebound. So Creer takes the puck. He'll skate to the middle. He'll skate in, shot in on net. Like right now, we're, we're, we're just shooting, and he's just gathering everything. Mm -hmm. We got Either you got to get in front of his eyes, or it's got to be straight on the ice with the tip up. Yeah. Otherwise, you got to move it. Same five, comes back out to Creer. Creer over to Clem. Clem, he's got a lane now. Take there a shot, it's a score! Carson Clemson. And that was, that, that was, that's the goalie you needed right there because you've got the goalie to move, and he's moving to his left, and you're shooting to his right, and, and he's moving that. I mean, it was a perfect shot. Like, there, there couldn't have been a better shot there. To, I mean, he, he had a, probably less than six inches to make that. That, that gap, right? Well, I'm glad he listened to you, Andy, because now we're tied. I know. Four. Well, and there's 3:30 left, and it's a turkey cup. Right? Exactly. And so, what did I tell you? You have to move the puck. You got to get the goalie to move. If the goalie moves, then you shoot where he's not move, moving across the grain, right? It's really simple. Now we gotta keep them from scoring. This game's not over yet. So here comes Ferrari. He'll drop past that pack to Brooks, Brooks takes the zone, tries to make a man miss, but it comes out, and Ferrari will gather that up. He'll try to go up, picked off there by Anderson, and he'll try to get a deep off Ferrari's stick, and it goes down low. He'll stop and come up the boards, and they'll try to flip it out, but kept in by Shizzle, but back out and battle there, and back to, oh, and Shizzle's got it. He's got some room. He's got Anderson in the middle, but he's getting overwhelmed here by Capitals. Shot deflected. Oh, oh, just wide. Good play there. Anderson with the deflection. Gladson on the ice at the blue line. He takes it, takes a shot, and saved by. But, no, we're going for a change. Hey, they didn't blow a whistle. So they'll just try to get it deep. And well, that was a smart play by Fleming, though. Yeah. You know, let that lose. Is it, uh, yep. That's a penalty. Holy cow, he got boarded. No call, but. And now it comes back up the other way. Down down low, that's Clem. Battle comes out in front. And they'll try to just get it out. Bouncing puck. It's still in the zone, but back the other way and out. And now back up to Barons. They battle onside, offside, and here comes 
big Chuck. Come on, Chuck. Make a move here. Chuck takes it to the corner. And still got it. There's a battle down low. And Flaherty comes out with that puck. Now over to Career. Takes a shot in some paraphernalia. And back the other way. And here come the Capitals. Good play there by Teddy. Now bouncing puck over to Clem. Clem's got some room. He tries to score. He got it! it! Clem with an unbelievable forehand, backhand cross and beats Fleming. Yeah, that was a flip. And just, you know, with a hat trick for Clemenson, but it was a flip. Clemenson was able to get it. Uh, and then he went, what he did is he went hard through the net, made a goalie move, and be able to just use his backhand, put it up over the top. As the father of a defenseman, you got to admit, Teddy made that play. He made a yeah, great oh, play at the absolutely. blue line. He got the puck up to Clem. I mean, it was, he I mean everything was fine with the, with the caps. They were, they were moving it up ice, and then, you know, just had a t great step by Teddy, you know, and just kind of flipped it up. Went right to Clem, and Clem goes hard and right to his backhand. You know, beats Fleming there. You know, get his hat trick there. So, uh, I'm not sure not sure what Clemenson's stats are tonight, but he's keeping up. He's keeping pace tonight. Well, I think he's got three. Well, I know he's got three goals. Yep. He's got his hat, hat trick, trick, and then he's got an assist. So, he's got four points. So, there he is. He's three so, and a half. Yeah. You know, he, he's above his three and a half. And we got a timeout on the ice, I believe. Um, my guess is the Capitals. So I'm not sure. Capitals played that perfectly. Teddy Friedrich made a perfect play. He yeah. picked the pocket of, of the guy entering the zone and just flipped it up. You know, and usually you're just kind of flipping it up into space, not not really looking for anybody, but just flipping it up into space. And fortunate for us, Clemson's right there to be able to pick it up and have a, a one on one with the goalie and and. I'm glad he didn't try to like go exactly. try to go snipe blocker him. side yeah. or snipe it. He went hard across the net and used his backhand there. You know that that that's the key piece right there that Clemenson did there. Well, I will tell you what. Next year when we interview Mr. Friedrich <laughs> and I ask him what his favorite teacup moment is, I hope that's it. I hope that's it there. Absolutely, that was one heck of a play. That's just that they invite us back. Well, well, we'll see what the ratings we'll, are. We'll see what the ratings are from the comments. So, oh. so minute 29 left in this game. We got to keep it out of the net for a minute 29. Well, we'll now we'll you keep just, an eye on Fleming too. The biggest thing is you just got to keep it deep in their zone and, yeah. and play a one-two-two. Two. Like the, you don't need it. You don't need to send a bunch of guys down below the goal line. And Lorbecki right takes that off up to Career. Takes a shot. Good save Ooh. by Fleming. Wow. You know, if you just send one guy down to attack, let let your one two two work. You can cover the outlets, right? And so, let the one guy go. If if it goes to the other side, one another guy activates. The other guy recovers. I mean, you can kill this one twelve that's left. So it comes out to career. He'll just throw it deep. Lord Becky rims around, and here come the Capitals. But Brolin's there. He'll tap that up to Clem. And he'll there just, you go. Throw just it get deep. deep. Just, just like send that. one. 58 just send seconds left. Lord Becky can go. Now tap by Lord Becky. He grabs it along the near boards and just tries to get it deep, but off some bodies. And some whiffing and pocket picking. And here comes Ferrari the other way. Making some good moves, but loses it at the blue line. And there's a battle in front of the bench. We get a whistle. And we'll have a face-off. 37.2 seconds left. 19 to 27. We got outshot big time in the second and third period. And we'll have another timeout here for the Oak Leafs. And I'm assuming Scott is the one that took this one. Let's see. I see... Uh, Trying to look in the crowd here. I'm not gonna pick anyone off, Andy. Huh? Trying to pick anyone. There's Cook. There's Big Cook. Well, 25 seconds left in this timeout.
And we've got Safner, Creer, Clem, or Becky. Where's the faceoff at? It's just outside the dot, I'm guessing. Yep, well, right. I guess Fleming's going in. He's going in for now. We got Teddy, Creer. I think I would have I at least have him up by the yeah, exactly. hash mark. See what happens here. Get him off quick. Now he's going to come. And here comes Fleming. Well, actually, it's probably a bad time. He could have probably played that puck, but... I would have I would have just had him pulled at the beginning. So we have six on five here for 21 seconds. Good play there by Creer. He'll just feather it deep. And we got a couple guys low here, and that's icing. Yep. And with 10 seconds left, they'll have yeah. to put the goalie back in. And if we just keep it down there, this game's over. Well, taking the draw, what you want to do is just win it, win it to the back corner. Let them win it to the back corner. Get Clemenson to be there to tie everything up with Lewandowski. If you can. Yeah, either there way, it needs to go backwards. Six seconds left. Ladinsky blows a. Yeah, they don't have enough time. time. Two seconds. There's Teddy. And there's the Oak Leafs. Four teacups in a row, ladies and gentlemen. Hard fought victory tonight, 5 4. Gave up a couple of power play goals. Yeah. But gutty performance. And honestly, I think we got outplayed for most of that game. We, we came up big when it counted, but. We, we came up really big in, at the end of the third period, but I think between you know the end of, between the start of the second period to the middle of the third period, it was all capital, really. Oh yeah, you know, and I, and I think they kind of controlled it, and then we were able to get that power play. Once we got that power play, kind of set that, and then we were able to get something fed off of there. And then once that goal went in, got a four-four. Now you got that next one uh, with a you know with a great play by by Friedrich, just kind of. You know, picking the pocket of the capital player, chipping it up, and finding Clem, you know, with some open ice to work with and, and using his backhand. But I'm trying to snipe him, use his backhand to get it up and over the, up over Fleming. But, you know, give credit to the Capitals. They, they came out and fought hard. I mean, they, you know, they're, they're bi their biggest player, Sambro, out. Uh, a couple other guys, you know, kind of banged up, you know, kind of playing through some injuries, even though they're playing. Uh, give, them, give them some credit. You know, they, they fought hard. They had the right attitude. Uh, you know, they, they, the last game that they played in, against Waterloo, they lost, se you know, seven to one. You know, and, and, and kind of just frazzled there. Um, you know, and, you know, either they could have stepped up or they could have just kind of folded, and they kind of stepped up. So, uh, give credit to their coaching staff. They, they came out and played hard, but uh, the Oak Leafs, you know, just you know, just a little bit better or took. Them, basically took care of some of the other opportunities. Well, and this will be my last opportunity, but congratulations to all the seniors this year, and good luck. Same thing with the Capitol seniors. And uh, you know what? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll be back next year. Who knows, Andy? Who, but who knows? I want to say thank you to Dave Creer and, and everyone here and asking Andy to come back. It was a pleasure to be here, and – uh, thank you very much, Andy. Yeah. It was a lot last, of fun. You get the last word, buddy. No, I, no, it was a lot of fun. I'm glad we were able to do this and and uh, you know partake in, in, in you know our kids aren't playing right now, but uh, partake in, in this event. Um, it's just a wonderful event. And we talked before earlier, you know, the amount of people that we've been able to see coming back, and and you know I've been able to come back and see guys I haven't seen in 20 years uh, at, at this event. So it's a unique event. It's great for Des Moines. Uh, no matter who wins or loses, at the end of the day, you know, when we come back 20 years later, we're, we're going to still, you know, enjoy this game. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. We'll, we'll keep the video going because everyone wants to see the celebration. But Andy and I are going to sign off. I appreciate it, Andy. Good to see All you. All right. Good to see you, buddy.